You're watching News 24 Live. The statue of Cecil John Rhodes has been at the center of much controversy of late at the University of Cape Town. Many students from the Rhodes Must Fall campaign banging for its removal. Last night, the Center of Conflict Resolution hosted a public dialogue debating the legacy of Cecil John Rhodes. The guest speaker was Professor Paul Malam from Rhodes University, who joins us now to discuss this further. Prof, good morning. Thanks very much for joining us. Good morning. What were some of the main talking points and, I guess, conclusions, if any, that came from this dialogue last night? Well, first of all, I should say it was a, a very well attended meeting. There were over 180 people there, including some of the students from UCT who have been part of this campaign, mm -hmm. carrying posters, mm -hmm. roads must fall, all roads lead to colonization of the mind. That was mm -hmm. another poster. And the students were actually welcomed by the chairperson, so I thought that was good. I spoke uh, about the, about, a little bit about Cecil Rhodes, but mainly about how he's being commemorated and memorialized. Mm. And then the director of the center, Adekeo Adebajo, he was a former Rhodes scholar, mm. and he spoke about his view of Rhodes and his uneasiness about accepting a Rhodes scholarship mm. and having to drink a toast to Cecil Rhodes at Oxford. He actually refused to do that. But then there was a lot of discussion from the floor. My sense was that the statue of Rhodes has ceased to be the main concern. Mm. It's much more now about transformation yeah. of UC2. And that there are much larger structural issues. There's a sense that uh, I mean, a number of students are expressing the view that really UCT hasn't really taken race and racial issues seriously, mm. not enough black professors, not enough um, black intellectuals and their work recognized in, in, in courses. Mm. So I thought I got a sense at the end that those were the main issues coming out of discussion. Mm. So um, should the statue be taken down? I mean, that would surely set a precedent for, yeah, I mean, I guess a much mm larger issue. I mean, his legacy is throughout Southern Africa. Yeah. You're at Rhodes University. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. I mean, the statues of, of Cecil Rhodes in the company gardens. I mean, his yeah. legacy is everywhere. Yeah. His remains are in Zimbabwe. There's talk of that yeah. being yeah. Um, exhumed and sent back to the UK. Yeah. I mean, what, what would happen? Well, first of all, my, my view is that the statue should be removed. It certainly shouldn't be destroyed, but it should be removed. And it's not really all that big a deal, because if one comes to think about it, if the statue is removed, you still, what all you're do, really doing is just slightly reducing Rhodes' extraordinary prominence and presence in Cape Town, because you would still have that far more grandiose, imposing Rhodes Memorial mm. looming over the campus and over the city. Mm. And I'm quite sure that if the statue is removed, which, which seems likely, the Rhodes Memorial will be the next target. Mm. And that will be a much more difficult matter to deal with. That won't mm. be UCT's responsibility. It will be a very difficult thing to dismantle. What do you actually do with the Rhodes Memorial? So what are, what are, what are going to be the consequences? That already um, the, the matter is spreading across South Africa to Rhodes, mm. to Grahamstown, to Kimberley. But you, you mentioned Zimbabwe. I mean, there is the Zimbabwean model. Mm. and after Zimbabwean independence in 1980, Rhodes was virtually obliterated almost straight away. Mm. All the statues were removed, street names were changed, and, and, and Rhodes have been everywhere. Mm. The, the memory of Rhodes, the name of Rhodes, have been everywhere in Zimbabwe. But what remains is the grave. Mm. And the, that has been a site of controversy. And there, have, there were threats in the past to blow the grave up. And I read, I think, recently that two or three days ago, some ZANU PF youth went with their spades to try mm. and dig up the grave. And they were actually stopped by the Zimbabwean government. And Mugabe himself has had a changing attitude mm. to the grave over the years. He wanted it removed 40, 50 years ago when he was fighting in, in the liberation struggle. Mm. But now I think his attitude might have changed a bit.